On Wednesday, the Uttarakhand State Legislative Assembly made history by passing the Uniform Civil Code Uttarakhand 2024 Bill, making Uttarakhand the pioneering state in India to enact such legislation. The bill, tabled before the Assembly just two days after receiving approval from the Uttarakhand Cabinet, was presented by Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dhami. Its objective is to establish uniform laws governing marriage, divorce, land ownership, property rights and inheritance for all citizens, regardless of their religious affiliations. During detailed deliberations on the bill in the Assembly earlier today, Chief Minister Dhami underscored its significance, portraying it as a groundbreaking endeavour for the nation. He emphasised the opportunity for states to lead by example and set precedents that could resonate across the country. Dhami articulated that the Uniform Civil Code would pave the way for equality among all individuals, particularly addressing gender-based discrimination prevalent in matters such as marriage, maintenance, inheritance and divorce. India is a vast nation and it presents ample opportunities for states to make significant strides and set precedents that can influence the entire country. Our state has got the opportunity to make history and provide a guiding path for the nation as a whole. It is imperative that other states across the country also embark on a similar trajectory, aligning their efforts towards fulfilling the aspirations and ideals set forth by the makers of the constitution, CM Dhami said. Central to the bill's provisions is the mandate for registration of live-in relationships, a complete prohibition on child marriages, and the introduction of a standardised divorce procedure. Furthermore, it ensures equal rights for women across all religious communities concerning ancestral property. Notably, the UCC bill sets the minimum marriageable age at 18 for women and 21 for men across all communities and mandates marriage registration for validity, while also stipulating a one-year limitation for filing divorce petitions after marriage. The passing of this bill marks a significant milestone in the journey towards gender equality and social justice, signifying a resolute effort to combat injustices and empower women. As Chief Minister Dhami amply articulated, it is indeed time to put an end to discrimination against women and ensure that they receive their rightful place as equals in society. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.